I just watched this uh, video by Samurai Guitarist where he uh, makes obscure music genres. So going into this, I'm thinking, I'm gonna make an obscure music genre because I watched the video, good video, check it out by the way, but I thought like he didn't really show much of the creation process, just kind of the end result. My idea was rip him off, do a do a terrible rip off of his video um, that's, that's worse in every way. I don't know. It didn't even really turn out to be anything like his video anyway, it just, you'll see. I thought of a couple ways of doing this. I could, I could do obscure genres, you know, there's plenty of obscure genres. Um, lower ca I mean, maybe this is the one that that he was looking at. Lowercase. I mean, glitch hop isn't exactly obscure. Like these aren't. In what universe is cloud rap and vaporwave like obscure genres? When was this fucking article written? 2018. You're telling me vaporwave was obscure in 2018? Okay, let's see. What is this? We got cat step. Okay, I've actually never heard of that. Ecto folk. Uh, I know Enka, I know Gamelan, I know Complextro, Sega, that's just a fucking video game developer from the 90s, they, the guys that made Sonic, that's not music, Zydeco, I know Zydeco, okay, this, this is a fucking shitty way to do this, let's do, let's, let's, let's have a list of music genres, my idea was to get up random number generator, okay, let's just do this, and let's go 100, okay, we got 47, alright, let's, let's, Let's go on this and find the fucking 47th thing. One, two, three... Okay, 47 was Arabic pop music. Fuck yes, I love Arabic pop music. Okay, we're gonna be making some Arabic pop music. Let's open up Logic and get some Arabic pop music going. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is change our tuning system. Okay, I've got my, uh, my weird quarter tone tuning system. Listen, quarter tones, quarter tones. And I got an oud. I made a little pattern with the lute, the oud. I am actually going to quantize it in quintuplets because I noticed they like some sort of like. There's a lot of two quintuplets. Let's go to sept septuplets. Let's go with septuplets. Oh, that's a little crazy. I would like a faster septuplet, please. It will not give me a faster septuplet. Anyway, they like doing weird syncopations that sound like quintuplet swing or something. Uh, I'm having trouble emulating that right now, but I have an idea of how to do it. I'll do that in a second. Yeah, just got a little melody. It's in 4-4. I listened to some music, some Arabic pop music. A lot of it sounds a lot like Western pop music with Arabic style vocals. Um, I am not even going to try and do that style of singing. That is like a completely something I am not familiar with and I don't think I can pull off. And I feel like it might be kind of racist <laughs> if I do it poorly and don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to build up a little instrumental and see where it, see where it goes. They, there's a lot of trap style influenced stuff in the Arabic music, pop music that I was listening to. This is stuff with like hundreds of millions of views and everything's in Arabic. Um, so, you know, it's not just like a some Western producer sampling in Arabic. Like I'm, It's real on the pop charts down there you know, in the Arabian Peninsula, uh, and I guess they like trap music down there, so we'll give that a shot. I started out lining a drum beat, this is not actually going to be trap, it's going to be kind of this... Very wonky. Ooh, yeah, I like this. Making a bass out of this zither, I had this little melody I'm definitely using this scale wrong and I, I know it sounds wrong but I don't know enough about the music so I've pitched it down an octave and now I'm gonna like roll off some of these highs now we got a nice bassy sound and now let's add some like 
little bit of distortion onto that and bring back some of those highs. Okay, and then I'm going to add some more modern percussion, electronic percussion, and side chaining. And it's, so I went back to a trap beat. I've got my trap beat here. And then I found this little thing. Adds a little more rhythmic interest. And then I've got a bass. Now, the thing about the bass is, I may have gone a little overboard with the bass. I went a, maybe a little too modern, a little too like hyper pop. And so I'm thinking what I actually need to do here is is actually cut a bunch of this shit out and <laughs> strip it, strip it down to be just maybe just this type of thing. We, we, give, give, give me like a crazy amount of fucking reverb, right? No, you know, like a fucking opulent bathroom. Right, and then we fucking like send all of this like crazy, you know? Can we give me an abbey? Right, and then we have, oops, we have some, you know. And then we have a version of this that is an octave higher. Or, no, actually, this should be the octave higher. And then this, we got no reverb, just... And then I'm actually gonna fuck, fuck the, the, the like, seven tuplet swing. We're just gonna send it on an eighth note, like... Right, and then we just send that, and then I think this should be fairly good. Right, like that's, I've, what I've done here is not, I don't know what I've done, but it sounds kind of sick. Though. We got, we got, we're doing some arrangement now. I'm not going to make a whole song. I'm just basically going to make a, a little drop section. I just need to make the drop a little better with some fucking EQ nonsense. Uh, actually, this is fine, because what, what we should do, what we should be doing here is actually a low cut frequency curve, frequency um, automation to make it go. Yeah, and then you can have it come down at the end. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then we just do the same thing with this. Yeah, and then we can, wait, does this even have that turned on? It doesn't, you have to remember to turn it on. Yeah, and then what I can do is I can add a little like clap, 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 clap. Yeah, I think I'm done. I think, uh, I think this is the track. In fact, actually, I will just, I will play the actual version for you right now. You probably want to put headphones on because this song has a lot of sub bass in it. So unless you have a really nice subwoofer set up you probably want to put headphones on. This is not exactly Arabic pop. It's more like Arabic trap, like festival trap. Um, but uh, I think it's turned out really well. I'm, I'm very happy with how this song turned out. Uh, it's a little weird, <laughs> obviously. Uh, mainly the tuning system makes it weird, but uh, like that also kind of makes it unique. So I think it was definitely definitely pretty cool so uh give it give it a listen now
Thank you.